Welcome, YouTubers, to another episode of Remember the Great Sports. I am currently standing at the Weston Crown Center in Kansas City, Missouri today. And I'm just going to show you kind of where I'm at in the downtown area of Kansas City. If you look across the street here, you see a nice big Kansas City Chiefs banner hanging in the window over there. Today is opening day for the Chiefs, but they're playing out in San Diego. But the reason that I'm here today in Kansas City is today at the Western Crown Center, they're having the 75th AAGPBL All-American Girls Professional Baseball League, also portrayed in the movie A League of Their Own, 75th reunion. Yes, 75 years of the AAGBL is happening here today at the Western Crown Center in Kansas City, Missouri. So I'm going to take you inside and kind of show you around. Hopefully we'll get some pretty good footage and you guys will enjoy what you see. So bear with me. I'm gonna be walking through one of these circular door things, pretty cool. And as you walk in, there's the lobby of the hotel. I noticed this when I came in earlier. But as you walk in, hanging up above the second floor is the Milwaukee Chicks and the Minneapolis Millerettes. And you come over here. Grand Rapids, Fort Wayne, the Peoria Red Wings, Muskegon Lassies, the Chicago Colleens, the Springfield Sallies, the Kalamazoo Lassies, the Battle Creek Bells, the Muskegon Bells. And of course, if you come over here, you know the Wisconsin ones, if you guys know the movie A League of Their Own. There are the Rockford Peaches. The Racine Bells. Kenosha Comets. And the South Bend Blues. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to scroll down here. And here comes some of the former players right down this hallway. So I'm just going to let you stand back and enjoy the scenery. But here are some of the former ladies themselves coming out of a conference room with their families. So hopefully we'll get up close and get to see them a little bit better. So just stand by and we'll see how things turn out. So I'm uh, walking around up in the food court in the place here and I saw some of the ladies walking around but I thought this was awesome. Check this out in the gift shop. Dorothy's dress from the Wizard of Oz next to some other Wizard of Oz Emerald City Monopoly. <laughs> but just thought you guys like to see that in the window here. There's no place like home. Although technically we're in Missouri, not Kansas at the moment. So. So I just talked to one of the staff and they said the autograph signing is up the escalator by the water fountain. So here we are going up the escalator. And I hear water. So when we get up here, looks like there's a bunch of tables set up. And in about an hour, all the ladies are going to be up here meeting with fans for an autograph session. So stay with me, and when some of the ladies start showing up, I'll go to a little footage and maybe show you off a little bit to them. 
All right, so here I am. Uh, I was just gonna show some of the stuff off that I am trying to get signed. I picked these postcards up at the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown a few years back, and I actually got a couple of the members of the Rockford Beaches to sign them already. So I don't know if these ladies are gonna be here again today, but there already are a couple autographs on these um, greeting cards, I guess they'd be called. And I got these signed a few years back. We're probably saying, this one actually has three autographs on it. And in addition to that, I have four books. I have the whole new ball game. I'm gonna try to get that signed on the inside cover here. And I've got a copy of When Women Played Hardball also that's not the copy i actually have a couple copies of that book but this book is actually signed already by the author and i picked this up on uh, amazon or whatever and it came shipped to me with the autograph already in it so hopefully we're going to add some more autographs to that so stay tuned we'll uh keep you posted all right so we are standing in line waiting for the ladies to arrive I'm about, oh, about 15th in line, so nothing, nothing too crazy here. Not first, but whatever. <laughs> All right, some of the ladies are making their way to their spots at the table. I also picked up this poster to get signed. But we're gonna get rolling here in a minute. like some of the ladies have pre-signed cards they're giving out. seats empty and we'll get started hopefully. Alright, so what they did is they split the lines and they made you go one direction or the other direction. So this is actually the second time through, but I have to go this direction this time to get my item signed. And as you can see, we got quite a few of them on here already. But we have to get the second half and the line just keeps getting longer. So there we go. So I am at the end of the line and they're about to wrap this up. It was going to four o'clock. We got a little bit of a merchandise table going over there. I'll just walk by and kind of show you the stuff that they have for sale for the signing. Uh, we were able to get almost, and I say we, my father was here. We were able to almost get everybody, but a couple of the ladies had to uh, um, get up and leave because they just couldn't sit too much longer. So just kind of walking by here. Hi, beautiful lady there. <laughs> Showing off your merch. 
<laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Tuesday. There's a little Jimmy Dugan. You like Jimmy Dugan? <laughs> Hi, just you recording. Yeah, I'll take some. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. My sister, her mom, who passed away from her mom, your sister. Awesome. Yeah. Well, this is this is wonderful. I'm gonna put these on YouTube, and I'm gonna send them out to some of my subscribers. Oh, yeah. So we'll we'll get your mom's name out there yeah. even more. So so wonderful. Do you mind if I take a few more for some people to oh, well, yeah. to yeah. distribute? Okay. Yeah. Well, I think the line's about done, so... And then if they go on the website... Yeah, you have a website? For the... For the AJVL, if you go on the website... Okay. Yeah. And become members, right? Well, they can become associate members, and they can read the bios on the Okay. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Gloria. You're welcome. It's and my pleasure. We're going to put this on YouTube for everybody to see, and hopefully some young girls see it. All right. And they get inspired to play baseball. Okay, thank you. So. Yeah. Yeah. And Sister Tony, you yeah. want to say anything? I'd love to. <laughs> yes. Did you oh, get there. Sister Tony Ann Palermo. And in baseball, I was Tony Palermo. I played professional baseball when I was 14 years old, played shortstop. I was recruited or scouted when I was uh, between 10 and 11. I played on the farm team for the uh, national, professional national softball Hershey Bloomer Girls when I was 11. Uh, let's see, I never sat the bench. <laughs> and I always believed that I could do whatever I wanted to do, uh, you know, wanted to be out there. I just believed in myself and I worked hard. I was very coachable. That's great advice for a young athlete. And if somebody wants to teach you how to play, listen to them because that's why I became so good. Okay. Okay. And what you who'd you play for? I played for the Chicago Colleens. Oh, okay. Springfield Sallies and the Parachute Bloomer Girls Professional Softball. Okay. I played years in professional baseball and professional softball. Wow. Yes. And the one thing that I think was so important when uh, when they had something to teach. I was teachable or coachable. I listened and I learned. So what? They should listen and learn. What did you do after your career? I'd like I, to share I that. I became a sister. I entered the convent and became a school sister of St. Francis. 
and I'm now a sister for 65 years. Wow. That's pretty long. That's a pretty good career in <laughs> yeah, the sisterhood. considering they said that I would never last. Wow. There were two of us went at the same time. The one young woman was very pious, and they said she was the one that would last, and I would be out in a month. She never made it, and I'm here 65 years. Wow. Yeah. Well, but thank it, you very much, Tony. You. And, and the viewers hopefully get yeah, something I hope from they this. See this. And, and, and where will I find myself here? <laughs>